glass out of a furnace um, that's keeping the glass about between 2,000 and 2,100 degrees. Um, you put the glass on the end of a stainless steel pipe and then you slowly manipulate it by cooling off specific areas. It's a really fine line between keeping the glass hot enough to work um, but not too hot that you can't control it. Likewise, if it gets too cold, it'll actually crack and break while you're manipulating the glass. Um, you then add colors and you add different layers of clear to make larger pieces. And then the tricky thing about it is you can't actually touch it with your hands. You have to learn how to use tools as extensions of your hands um, and to apply pressure in different areas to create shapes. So the kiln piece that you guys documented is part of what I call my moment series. Um, the original piece was called Moment of Choice and it was this, it's kind of, it was a visual representation of uh, fear, more or less. Um, but the process is I'll take glass powders that are pre-made and I'll mix them together in ratios to create nice blends. And then I will slowly layer those on top of each other, kind of making a very, very rough sketch of the pattern that I'm wanting to make. Then I take a paintbrush and I fine out that pattern a little bit more. And then the final step is taking an X-Acto knife and actually really fine tuning it to get very, very intricate detailed uh, branches or kind of a fractally pattern. Um, it's then placed in the kiln and it has a very specific temperature that it goes to. Uh, the, what's nice about the kiln is you have a lot of control of, over the temperature and how long it's there and you can literally change it by a, five degrees and it'll completely change the effect. So I've done a lot of experimenting trying to figure out just the right temperature. Mm -hmm.